Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Edgewater Saskatchewan in Farming Simulator. For those of you who aren't familiar with my content that is. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of a snowfall recently. Uh, it's about 10 till 8 o'clock in the morning as you can see up there. Uh, if things look a little different it's because I've decided to adjust my scale. So... I, at least looking at my recording software, it looks a little scrunched up. I, I'm really hoping it's not going to appear that way when it comes to editing. Yeah. Otherwise, I may go back to the way it was or try to figure out something else. It's been a while since I've done it in this fashion. Um... Yeah, we're just going to go from there. Anyway, um, as you can tell, I have most of my um, snow removal equipment out. And, well, it was... Um, I don't remember those bales being up there. What the hell? Where did they come from? Can I get up? Well, I should be able to get up here. I have a snow pile here. That wasn't... Hmm... I think someone's messing with me. Either that or they were buried under all the snow that we had. Because I had quite a bit of snow up here on the roof. Um, I had asked uh, Paul if he could come up here and kind of remove it. Because we had about mm, half a foot of snow drop on us. I still have no clue how those bells got up here. Just making sure I'm not missing any. I have a feeling we'll probably find a few in there if we had some up here. Um, we may have had a little minor snafu at some point. I don't know if it's just from trying to sell them or what, but... This was not my intention for this video, so uh, yeah. I'm going to get these taken care of since we got them. So, yeah, our uh, yard is looking a little empty at the moment. And you know, we get a lot of snow, and you'll see the snow piles here soon when they're taller than this guy. So I have recently updated our yard. Obviously not this yard in per se, but it is our yard. You might see a little th something different there in the distance. Even with no leaves on the trees. Oh, as we go up and over that snow pile. Don't get stuck. There we go. Um, I, we were starting to get some enough equipment that I was running out of places to put things. And I was starting to have them pile up back here. So what we did is we went ahead and had a few buildings built. Yeah, and they're packed. Um, that's not necessarily designed to hold these kind of equipment, but it, it does keep them out of the elements for the most part. I mean, we did have a little bit of snow get back under there, but it just kind of depends on the way the wind blows. Ooh, it's cold out there. So we have that shed. Now, by the way, when you have six plus inches of snow, six to 12 inches of snow, this guy can only do so much. So that's why we now have the front loader. Wow. I think someone might have left the door open. Uh, so yeah, this is where we have some of our other equipment. Um, holy crap. You know, I told Paul to clean this before, or at least wash it off before parking it. It just looks bad, because if we need to actually get a call to go help out someone, it's going to look really bad when this is all dirty and nasty. When we show up. But, yeah, we have our one uh, 
tender trailer here. It's got obviously our uh, fertilizer, liquid fert on there, as well as uh, our tender on here for that we can fill up with either seed or solid fertilizer. Oops, did not mean to hop into that. Uh, we do have all of our sprayers in here. So we do have our variety, more so for our bigger fields with this guy, and then our smaller fields. So that guy I got specifically for um, the uh, fenced-in field over there. And it was for also this field that we actually buried. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to come in here. One of the things that I am wanting to do, actually, is expand out and build out our um, our silo, silo capacity. Because we have those silos that require the use... Can I get my big butt through there? No, we'll have to go over this way. Um, Alright, pal Jack, come on. There we go. All right, now I can fit through this door. There we go. Say, I'm not that big. All right, so. We have the row of silos over here, but they require the use of the um, augers and things like that to get them filled, as well as emptying them out. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking at wanting to do is purchase well I, I do want to purchase both of these lands actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now but 17 I think is where I want to build my new silo uh, complex so let's see here I need to figure out what silo I want to you build. Ooh. That's a simple one with a 5 million liter capacity. Do I have another one? That's another thing I'm wanting to build as well. Is uh, storage for bales. Which I could use this guy. But a part of me is wanting to. Well, let's unselect that. I'm going to put it right here in this spot, right where this trailer's at. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a small enough. Uh, building or storage spot that I can put there to put any bales. I mean, it, I think it's usually it's probably going to be mainly straw or hay. But I still want to be able to put any in there. Ooh, is this the one I was after? Three million. Yeah, I think this is. I think, I think, I think. Let me just skim through the rest of this just to make sure I'm not missing another one. I thought I had another one that was almost looked just as big, if not bigger. And the green leg, I think, was taller. I think. Maybe it's a mod that I removed at one point that was not in the mod hub. Yeah, I think that might have been the case, because I don't see it. Alright, so what I need to be considerate of... Is if I put it somewhere, I want to make sure that I leave enough room for the trucks to be able to turn around. And I think... We're going to go there. It's a little hard with all the snow, first of all. Let's uh, get the 
painting. We're gonna do gravel again. Difficult because of snow. Why am I doing it in this time of year? Well, because the rest of the year I am working on the f in the fields. Duh. Told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place see. Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down myself Searching, pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me. Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety. I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some silence, please. You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly. Opinions violently thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. That we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds we put the work in We got some work, man Life is a nuisance, types nuisance. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. 
A place like this, it didn't exist for me like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway yeah, I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot I don't really do much in terms of putting bushes down By any means Simply because I tend to Like if I go to mow this I'm probably gonna mow the bushes right over anyway So <laughs> Yeah But we'll fill it in at least until I figure out What I want to do with this area All right, so let's turn the lights off here. So I do love this shop. We have all this space to put pallets. Uh, there, over there, and I know over here there's a spot. Yeah, there's racking there. There's also a working heater. Which you can hear kick on. We do have a bathroom in here. We have the we got the workbench, saw, tools, just about everything. And if we were to do it right, we'd have parts, bins, and everything right in here. Those are coming. I need to figure out how exactly I want to do it, but those are coming. Of course, we do have storage up here. We can put, lift up the boxes and totes and then sort them as we need. Because as you see here, we have like our receivers for our uh, antennas and all sorts of different things, replacement lights. Drainage up, tile up here. Got a little bit of everything. So I mentioned uh, about that. You can see it right through the window there. We have a little bit of an RV parking situation. Oh, by the way, if we want, we can rinse off our vehicles in here. Which I'd like as well. So we have that here drawn. We want to make sure we close that. So this is kind of our RV parking area. Uh, this is my beautiful voltage RV. And then my parents' RV. They are storing that here. Um, then we have a few others over here for hunting purposes. This was my original. I actually know this. Well, I guess you could call it my original. It's a hand-me-down for my parents. This was the newer one I purchased. And I think this is something that Paul is working on as far as building and... and uh, making it the way he wants it. So we do have a fire pit in here somewhere buried under the snow. But we have it set up to where we can come out here. We have a beautiful landscape to look at. Not RVs not included. <laughs> and it's a place to get away. Um, but yet, still be close to home. We have plenty of firewood here to burn. We got benches, even a covered one. Plenty of seating. We got charcoal grill. We have, if you want to do wood fire burning and don't want to use an actual fire pit. Um, you could also use that for charcoal if you wanted to, but. Yeah. Either that or maybe, uh, Paul took the propane tank in. I, I don't use this one enough, but this one very well may be a propane gas grill. Yeah, it looks like it's a propane grill. So yeah, you got the propane there and then the wood or, and or charcoal over here. So that's kind of what this area is. Um, I expanded my slide out after the snowfall 
Um, I needed to get in there to get a few things this morning, so before, which it included grabbing the camera for you guys so you can observe this. Oh yeah, I still gotta get this guy backed in. Er, it's cold out here. So let's go take a look at what we just built. Actually, you know what? Since we need to move that piece of equipment anyway that's over there. We're going to grab one of our semis here. And well, and since we're doing that, Let's uh, see if we can get this backed into here. Cause I'm just looking to back the trailer in, the truck's going back over the house. That'll work. This truck has become my workhorse for the most part. It is essentially my new uh, farm truck. Yeah, as you can see here, with the setup I have, it lights up the night. We got those lights on the bump back bumper. We got these lights up here on the headache rack, and of course our headlight set up in the front. So, we still have our Raptor here. And this is a new to us Case IH farm lift. Um, I was debating between getting a skid steer or one of these guys. And I, uh, as you can tell, I decided to go this route. Of course, we have our big front loader or wheel loader, whatever you want to call it. That guy has been a beast for us in getting everything situated. So these are the the two new pieces of equipment for us to do our landscaping. Uh, the John Deere is mainly for here around the house. I don't plan on taking that out anywhere unless it's a small yard that we need to do that someone needs help with. But yeah, this is going to be our beast for that. And of course, our trailer. <sighs> I told Paul to remove that stuff before parking it. Eh, brooms, whatnot. One thing that I've found with this Big Tex trailer, and I don't know if it's just because of the vehicles I'm trying to attach it to, but it's not a big fan of, you know, following the laws of physics. I'll just put it that way. So because we have the other big buildings set up, this has become kind of like our storage for all of our different attachments for our smaller grain augers and of course for our dumper trailer hmm. excuse me sorry guys uh i went silent on you real quick there had a couple of massive big massively big sneezes i'll put it that way See all the different equipment. This bay here has almost kind of turned into either the small equipment for my small field for where my, I believe my cattle are going, as well as any of our mowing equipment or anything to do with mowing, except for, uh, yeah, this guy. Well, that and our baler. But that's not what we're after. We came over here to grab a semi. Uh, 
to say. I didn't think I was attached to that. Oh. Well, since we got this truck over here, let's just take a quick look, make sure everything looks good. Plenty of space. Okay, actually I do like the way this looks out. Looks right now with all the different trees and bushes just kind of filling in. I may put a few more trees over in this area. But I like the size of the driveway. I like the feel of how that looks. I like this. I'm happy with this. Yeah, maybe I could have brought that grass strip back down this way, but if anything, it gives me a spot to park something there. Um, so yeah. I think with all that being said, uh, we're gonna call the video there, guys. So as always, if you happen to like what you see or if you catch yourself watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just like you here and there. If you're already subscribed, guys, oop, I'm gonna have to get rid of the fence, part of the fence there. If you're already subscribed, guys, I thank you and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you made it this far, what you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button, please. Uh, also, if you guys wanna see me do certain um, something specific with this game or if you want me to play any other kind of games let me know in the comments I said disconnect please can you not disconnect oh I was trying to disconnect the wrong thing oops anyway guys <laughs> With all that being said, we'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Peace. Oh, I love that, Jake.